Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. And yes, you're right, this isn't where we ended the last video. And yes, you're also right, well spotted, this is kind of around where we began the last video. So, um, a few people commented about Cole, uh, and me being a little bit brusque with him, and a bit kind of grumpy. And, um, at first I was like, well, you know, I I've had a few... Uh, people comment about other characters that I've not gotten on well with, or maybe I've lost a bit of approval with. Um, and then I watched the video, and it came across quite, br quite, as I said, brusque, quite angry and rrr, grumpy. And I don't think Alec is that kind of character. Okay, he does look kind of stern there, but yeah. Um, and especially considering I'm actually quite a bit further ahead of this. I've had to play through all the way up to this point, so I may have missed a few things. So I tried, quickly tried to play through it over, um, over like, past, uh, last, well, the last night I did it. And here we are. And uh, there was something I did do, and probably will do, that I think if doing that, if, if Alec would do that, he wouldn't react to Cole the way he reacted. So, we're replaying this bit, and we're going to be nicer to Cole. Um, uh, I think if you listen to the video, uh, you can hear me go, kind of, because the way you react is different to the way I thought we'd react, and it's the frustration of the power of Rose, really. So uh, we're in here, and yeah, right. because a <laughs> number of years, there's a few things that uh, I'm gonna do now that I didn't do um, in the actual session fo that followed this. Um, <laughs> there were several, I think three sessions I'm, I'm skipping over, I think. Maybe it's two. I think I may have done some small ones. I don't know. Either way, right, we looked at this. Yes, 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 yes. And no, let's read it. Oh, pants. I should actually read these things. And so we're going to talk to everyone around here. Because uh, uh, I didn't, I don't think I remember, don't know if I did these. Grim. Inquisitor. That's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Uh, how can we use you? Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies, get an idea about the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. Hooray! We'll talk later. A new operation. Uh, so we're going to pick up a few operations. Uh, one thing I, I mentioned in, one, in my other bits of recording is the possibility of doing like a stream of um, doing side quests and stuff and basically admittedly just copy Kenzie and everything. I don't know. Uh, so maybe think of that if you want. Now let's talk to Iron Ball. What's going on? Let's not talk to Iron Ball. Nice talking with you, boss. I probably could have looked at uh, the video and seen what... Uh, we don't have now. We need to talk we to. Don't need those we sold... I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning. Hello, Sutherland. Oh, Inquisitor. I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know, and then stay out of the way. Okay, new to the crew, a young hopeful operation. So we'll, we can go and do. We're picking up a load of operations we can deal with. Oh, my online connection is. is failed. Oh no, not my online co- oh, blah blah blah. Think of me. Right. Hello Cole. I'm not going to be grumpy this time, I promise. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Who? Actually, that's a good question. Oh no. You have done odd things. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Is that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? Uh, you burned turnips. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. Yes. It's because they're cooked, I don't know. He's trying to cook them. Huh? Improve the smell? I don't know. 
Let's talk about something else. All right. <laughs> you don't have things. Are having trouble remembering some odd events. Uh, plums. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Okay. Whatever. That's still weird. I wonder if there's actually like a chain of these, like they actually connect in a certain way, like he's doing this because of that, or if they're all various different random things. Let's talk about something else. All right. I think my frustration with this, and it's kind of a problem that I think Mass Effect 3 had, um, which, and it wasn't as prevalent in 1 and 2, and it wasn't really that apparent in Origins, I don't think it was the case in Origins, uh, from what I recall, but it seems that there's a lot of very binary choices. I think it was a complaint I had in 3. Uh, Mass Effect 3 is the choices became a lot more binary, where it's this or this. Um, whereas, uh, in real life, it'd be kind of like, well, why are you doing that? Why, why are you doing that? Why do you want to feed the spiders? When th they're managing anyway, kind of thing, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, the options are, okay, or, stop it, how dare you, you're very naughty, you're a very naughty coal. Hmm. I hear you've been busy. You stole cheese and mint. Someone stole an entire cheese wheel. Mice like cheese. The mice also like bowls of crushed mint. That was for the cats. You're making the cats play. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint. Mint makes the cats dance and play. Okay. That's weird, but I, I wonder if there's a coherent logic to the whole thing. I mean, that... I'd, I'd like it if all the other ones were that well kind of connected. I wonder if there's like a connection. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's talk about something I else. hope. All right. uh, odd things. So cool. You're holding daggers. Uh, I don't think we had this in the video. Um, I was walking out of Colin's office and someone went, I lost my dagger, it appeared in a barrel. So, I don't know. I don't know if we, we've actually had that. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Is that you? They were safer there. True, you can't really stab yourself with a dagger that is miles away from you in a ba barrel, but then again, you can't stab other people with a dagger in a barrel. But then again, that, that might be. Going. Maybe. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Alright. Odd things. So, Cole. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? There is another odd thing I have yet to find. Or at least one. I say another one. There may be several. Hmm. We need to go and find this then. Right, now we go and talk to Sarah. And she will give us the March on Vecchiel. Hey you, I have an inquisitor favour to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Details first. I won't agree to anything without details. Smart of you. I wouldn't dream of wasting your super important time. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land swap. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through. Just walk through. Easy, right? Um. Who would I be working for? Who's asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. What's in it for me? I assume it's the sovereigns. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you acting. Can't promise anything, but something will happen, <coughs> just like always. Yay, something. Who told you about this? Was this a tip from one of your friends? 
Not a Jenny. Just normal, angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger ears, I guess. <laughs> Shut up. I, I wasn't thinking anything about the fact you're an elf and you have kind of big pointy ears. I will we'll look into it. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient arseholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Alright, so we need to go and do that. I don't think there's anyone else to talk to in here. Apparently, you can get through this window. Or is there another window I can get out of? Maybe Kenzie's lying. Maybe I'm too big and I can't get through. Ah, well. Well, we're going to go run around and do things. Um, uh, so, we've got a load of people who are now free and a load of operations for them to do. So let's get them onto things. And while we're over there, uh, I, can't, I don't think there's any other bits of dialogue that we need. Is there? Is there? No, I don't think there's any other bits of dialogue to think about. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting confused. So, hello, hello, hello. No, okay. So we've got a variety of things to do. Uh, you will notice uh, that I'm I'm thinking of working on Cassandra's kind of quest. What? I, I picked her completely randomly. Honest. So we're going to be working on her stuff. It's got some more resources from, from I was going to say Alistair, from Cullen. Paragon 6, Paragon's Luster. Uh, we've got the Venatory Agent. Uh, an excerpt from a Ben Hasrath information report. The target was eliminated, and as expected, all other targets went into hiding. Duke Tithus did not locate our operatives during his search. Information the Duke found on the corpse revealed the smugglers' venatory involvement. Duke Tithus has cut off trade with the Tevinter Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Unterfell is no longer subject to venatory influence. Per his request, operative Red, um, Red Bull, Iron Bull, he has wings. Uh, will receive further intelligence reports to continue his efforts. Supplies from Saharan have also been dispatched. Got a new thing, and some more influence. And then over in Ferelden, we have Orzammar. Our emissaries have returned. Orzammar has pledged to our cause some of the most formidable warriors from the Legion of the Dead. According to the king, their veteran darkspawn hunters, absolutely fearless. The king also graciously offered to share Orzammar's wealth. He recognizes the threat Corypheus poses. So, um... Let's Virchel. Let's go and send Italian for Sarah. Commander, we have verified Sarah's claims about Virchel. Several displacements of refugees were deliberate in what appears to be an attempt to destabilize land claims. While there would be no direct gain for involving the Inquisition, increasing our presence could have unexpected results. In any case, it is a trivial matter to divert troops to march through the city. Lieutenant Estiel, Cullen, send you off. Right. Alright, I'll go and play whatever games Sarah's got for us. Right. Scout the Haven Ruins. I'm always terrified that we're going to end up doing something. Right, Haven Ruins. Uh, per our conversation, I would like permission to send some of the charges to Haven. Our goal is to find any gear lost in Corypheus's attack. Check for enemy stragglers and bring in refugees who have not yet found Skyhold. Lieutenant Cremisius Aklasi. The only way we'll bring in refugees is through our allies in Ferelden. After Haven, they're more than willing to help. Or we send in uh, uh, Cullen with troops. Let's send Josephine. Kind of get everyone working together. At your service. Ooh, I'm scared. Um... New to the crew, a young hopeful. A note in careful handwriting from the youth who recently arrived. Uh, to the Inquisition, I found bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show your people 
where they are. I'd, ha I'd have tried to stop them, but they have swords and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help D. Sutherland. Uh, if we have the location, just eliminate them, put the boy to work elsewhere. Or we can send Cullen, or we can have him help. I think that's probably what I want to do. And now I can't do anything with Liliana. Okay. Um, hmm. Anything over here I can do? Friending. Corinius, according to Dorian, while most of Intermagistus are not Venatori supporters, they will also not raise a finger to prevent the Venatori from wreaking havoc in the south. There are some, however, who see the cult for what it is, and are trying to expose it. A Magister contact in Corinius, by the name of Mevaris Talani, is attempting to introduce a law in the Imperial Senate which would see Venatori activity sharply curtailed into winter. Dorian suggests that quiet Inquisition support of Mevaris would be beneficial, and ultimately could drum up support from other Magisters fearful of what Corypheus represents. I have contacts in Tabinta, although not many. A few favor favors could get it. Colin can't do anything. Or Liliana. Tabinta is a land where secrets are weapons. Let us arm this Magister against those who would oppose her vote. Okay, send Liliana. Let's see what we have. I don't know. Terrible decisions knowing me. We have one power, so we need to go and do some side quests to open up other areas. I'm thinking of working primarily on... Wait, what on earth did I just mouse over? Oh, is it just you? Uh, I think you're working, of prim working primarily on companion quests. And then, once we've done that, we'll advance the main quest. I think that's my goal. And there will be some side quests we faff about and p accidentally pick up, I'm sure. Where am I planning on going? Ah, that's where I'm planning on going. Aha. Uh -huh. Because I found this. And people have... And uh, I think one person said, Oh, there's something in the quarters. And I found this. Um, it's very important. It's very important. Um, that I actually pick this up. Well, I say pick this up. I'm not really picking up anything. I have a wardrobe. It doesn't look like a wardrobe. It looks like a chest of drawers, but whatever. So we can pick. So I could I could start off with with all cut with armor. Oh no! No 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 no! I want proper armor if I wear something like that. Outer days vigil. What does that look like? Oh no 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 no! So we're gonna stick with what I picked, which was of course. Because it's me. Ooh, actually, these are quite nice. What does that look like? That was not the one I picked, but... Oh, I thought that was more of a crimson. No, 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 no. We're, of course, going to go with the Winter Palace in a nice, brilliant red. Because red is the best colour. Ooh, take. Uh, oh, things. Find things. I shall find things. Oh, my goodness, a lot of things to find. Oh, my, Wow. Okay, that's probably rather important. That may have been what people were talking about. But I have a red jacket, therefore. I have a red coat. And a British accent. You know, every, everything's fitting in. <laughs> Everything works. Um, now, last time, of course... Uh, I don't know where they are. Where are they? We recruited... Some, ooh, what's that? Oh, staples. You recruited some specialists. I've got to try and find them. They're over there. So we want to go up the walls to find them. And then we'll go and think about what we're doing with our... With dear Alec. What are you, what are you going to be, Alec? Uh, so through here, uh, ooh, ooh, something to read, eh? Hard and high town. We will leave those. They're being left around. We'll, we'll read them. I think once, we, if we get all the chapters, I think we'll read them. Hello, hello. We've got a mage, someone in Templar armor, and some random guy. Hello, Cullen. Hello. 